Lord, I need you, Lord. Yeah, I need you, Lord. I need you every hour. I need you. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come. All I need. for those who are looking for God you need to look for God more than you look for gold then you become his gold the Bible says you become his gold and you'll be precious in his eyes say Lord I need you say Lord I'm seeking for you I'm desperate for you I want to be your jewel so I'll look for you I will pursue you. I will run after you. I need you in my life. Every day, I need you, Father. Help me today to connect to your grace, to your power. I need you, Jehovah. Raise your hands one more time. Begin to pray. Pray. Tell him, Lord, I need you. Even God wants to be needed. He wants you to be desperate for him. He wants you to long for him. You need to open your mouth and verbalize it. Need him and tell him you need him. Tell him you're desperate for him. Tell him you're focused on him. Hallelujah. Let's give him the glory. Praise him. Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands. You can do better. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. 
for he has done great things. He will continue to do great things in and through our lives. May God show himself strong on your behalf. Title, please. May God show himself strong on your behalf. Tonight, you will be empowered for the next level by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do we love our screen? This is what God has done for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands. We want to plead the blood of Jesus upon this screen. We want to sprinkle it with the blood. This is the first time ever it has been used in Africa. And I'm, I'm reliably told that this is the only one in the country that is this speck and this level. Come on, let's appreciate. You're not clapping for a man. You are clapping for Jesus. You are clapping for Jesus. We must do our best for Jesus. Big screen curve TV in church. Yes. Hallelujah. The latest technology. Very, very clear. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands. Say, Father, we dedicate this screen for the works of the Lord. It will not be used for dindindi. It will be used for the things of God. We dedicate it for the works of the Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus upon the screen. Anyone and everyone who has an encounter with the scriptures on this screen, we make a covenant with you that those scriptures will stick in their lives and those scriptures will be forever a part of their lives. Holy Ghost, help us even as we connect to the power of the word. Now we sprinkle the blood of sprinkling upon this screen. We are grateful unto you for the provision. Now, Father, we activate the blessing of the Lord upon each and everyone who was a part of this project. Jehovah God, let them be blessed. Let their lives be as visible as this screen unto righteousness, unto good works. Let their lives be advertised by God for his glory. We release supernatural prosperity upon the lives of each and every individual that was financially involved and connected to this project. And Lord, above all, we give you glory in Jesus' name. Can somebody say amen? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Empowerment for the next level. Can I make an announcement? This level where you are has just expired. And it's not a coincidence that we are going to the next level. Your life must go to the next level. Can I get an amen, somebody? Say empowerment for the next level. Jehovah, this empowerment service, I must go to the next level. So help me God, by the power in the blood of Jesus. Can somebody say amen? Praise, praise God. The man of God will be here um, in about half an hour or so. Amen. I want to minister on the blood of Jesus. Somebody say the blood of Jesus. Talk to me. Say the blood of Jesus. Stretch your hands. Say I invoke the blood of Jesus upon this whole environment, this whole auditorium. I invoke the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus saturate this whole environment. Let it saturate even my life. I dip myself I dip even this whole auditorium, this whole atmosphere in the blood of Jesus. I declare and I decree no living power of the enemy will be able to prevail in this environment. 
I declare and I decree on account of the blood of Jesus we have victory by the blood of Jesus we are redeemed by the blood of Jesus we are justified by the blood of Jesus we have mercy by the blood of Jesus we have peace even with God by the blood of Jesus we were ransomed by the blood washed by the blood cleansed by the blood restored by the blood forgiven by the blood now we are shielded by the blood of Jesus say father I declare and I decree I draw a bloodline around my life around everything that I have a bloodline no devil can pass a bloodline any devil that attempts to pass the bloodline will drown like Pharaoh who tried to pursue God's children after a bloodline was drawn I declare and I decree there is a bloodline round about my life round about my assets round about my children round about my spouse round about everyone that concerns me the blood of Jesus is all around us and it will never ever lose its power Jehovah help me to connect today to this mystery of the blood of Jesus can somebody shout amen hallelujah say the blood of Jesus say it again say the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus is the ultimate challenge to Lucifer the ultimate challenge to the work of darkness it is the power of God that was used even in heaven to overcome the biggest war that ever was the biggest battle that ever was was between Lucifer and uh, uh, Lucifer and his angels and the Lord and two thirds of the of, of, of the Lord's angels because the Bible says that Lucifer he deceived one third of heaven if Lucifer could deceive one third of heaven be careful one third can you imagine one third he, he, he left with one third of the church from heaven you've got to be careful hallelujah and so the Bible says there was war in heaven. Say war. Say war. Now God did not attack Lucifer with lightning. Though lightning is in his hands. God did not use whirlwind against Lucifer. He, had, he could not take any chances. So he just went straight to his ultimate weapon. The Bible says they overcame by the blood. Somebody said they overcame by the blood. I mean, long story short, they overcame by the blood. There was war in heaven. Michael and his angels, they fought the dragon and they kept fighting and there was fights. But ultimately, God says, let's stop wasting time. Let's just go straight to the blood. There are people under the sound of my voice. You've had battles for a long time. We just need to go straight to the blood of Jesus. I said, we are going to go straight to the blood of Jesus. I prophesy over your life. I hope you receive every long-term battle. We invoke the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Every battle that looks like it will not go away. Everything that will look like it will not change. It has to change tonight on account of the blood. Somebody shout the blood. Oh, say it again. Say it by the blood. Say, I will overcome by the blood of Jesus. I will overcome curses by the blood of Jesus I will overcome evil powers by the blood of Jesus I will overcome generational captivity by the blood of Jesus whatever the enemy has done in my life I will overcome by the blood of Jesus that blood will never ever lose its power now watch this Generally, I've been a man of God who always has a problem with people who don't participate in the service. I don't want people to come here and watch like they're watching a movie. Like they're at a circus and I'm the clown. What I say, you say. What I do, you do. You follow. Am I right? Am I right? So if you don't participate in a service, that's why I have a problem with folding of hands. When you fold your hands, you are saying, I'm not involved in whatever is happening here. So in a service, look alive, participate, say, speak, declare, 
decree. Hallelujah. This is a deliverance ground. And you are also responsible for your deliverance. You take responsibility. When the man of God says, say this, you say it. You participate, you say amen. You make declarations. Hallelujah. I want to show you why. The Bible says in Psalm 107, verse number 2. How many believe we are redeemed by the blood? Okay. So the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord. Redeemed by what? Redeemed by the what? But it says, let him say so. Who he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So you have been redeemed from the hand of the enemy. You were bought for a price. Redeemed, bought. Listen. Okay. But the fact that you were bought doesn't mean that you are automatically free. You have to say it though it happened. This is, this, this, I, I, hope you are, I hope you are getting it. By ignorance, the enemy can arrest you, watch this, and deprive you of something Jesus paid for. The enemy can arrest you. Arnold, come here, come, come, come stand in the front here. Come stand, I want you in the front here. No more hiding. Yeah. Are you here? Are you here? Look. The enemy wants a believer to be quiet. Wants a believer to be ignorant. Wants a, a believer to be frustrated. Say, I will not be quiet. I will not be ignorant. I will not keep quiet when I should speak. I am redeemed. I have to say so. Okay. Now, in other words, if just being redeemed was good enough, you wouldn't have had to say so. Knowing about the blood of Jesus is not enough. You have to say what you know. Say what you know. When you say it, you are reminding yourself of what you have. And you are also reminding the kingdom of darkness of what was done for you. If you committed a crime, God forbid, arrested, went to prison, three years, served your sentence in full, this one, released from prison, and are now free. Hello? How many know you are free? But you know that an officer of the law can recognize you from a wanted picture some maybe four years ago, arrest you, put you in prison if you are quiet. Don't assume that he knows that the charges either were dropped or you paid your price or the price was paid for you. Why are you assuming that devils will advocate for your liberty simply because they know about Jesus? No, they will take advantage of your ignorance and they also take advantage of your being quiet. So the Lord said to me, there are many things I've done for my children, but because they are quiet about it, the enemy is taking advantage. So he took me to this scripture. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say so. If you are quiet about what you should be saying so, you will be afflicted though you are delivered. That's why Apostle Justice says you have a problem. You give but you don't prophesy. You don't say so. You don't say so. Learn to say so. Taura. Sometimes a child can be hungry. And then the mother says, why do you look so sad? And they say, I'm, I'm hungry. Then the mother says, why didn't you say so? Which happened? Somebody say, say so. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't keep quiet. Say so. Taura, open your mouth. You have to say it. I'm saying that because we are going to say some things. And I need to show you from the word of God that you are going to say so. You are a living being. And you listen to me. Your job is to exercise your faith. Faith is not just exercised in the heart. Your mouth is a big part of your faith. Your mouth, your mouth, your mouth. Once you are quiet, you start doubting. Romans 10.10, 10, quickly. He says, 
For with the heart one believes unto righteousness. This one. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So though you are righteous, you need to confess your salvation, your liberty, your deliverance with your mouth. Not the mouth of the man of God. Your mouth. Your mouth. You confess. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say so. Say it. Speak it. Declare it. Don't assume it. Don't assume it. So the problem is the body of Christ is quiet. Things happen to them. They say, I don't know why God is allowing this to happen. He's allowing it because you are quiet. Listen. God's hands are tied as long as your mouth is closed. Caption. As long as your mouth is closed, God's hands are tied. Because God, listen to me, God had the power for the heavens and the earth to be created. But until he spoke, nothing happened. Before Genesis 1, God had power to deal with the disaster that was on earth. But he was quiet, so it was dark. He was quiet, so there was disorder. So in your life, since you are a mini God, if you are quiet, it will be dark. If you are quiet, there will be disorder. If you are quiet, there is nothing that happens. It's the same thing. You have been too quiet. You are too quiet. Don't be diplomatic in warfare. Don't be diplomatic when you should be talkative. Don't be quiet when you should speak. Who told you prosperity will just come because you are saved? It will come because you say so. It will come because you say so. Lexus LX600 VIP. I said so. Big screen. Before we even had the money, I said so. I said a big massive screen. I said it. Now it's there. If I was quiet, would have these small, small screens. Taisa laptop up Why are you shy about saying what you want? Who do you think will say it for you? You are redeemed, but you are not saying so. So your life looks like you are not redeemed. You are redeemed, but you are not saying so. So your life looks like you are not redeemed. You are destined to prosper, but you are not saying so. So your life looks like a picture, a mirror of poverty, because you are not speaking prosperity. Urkunyarani. Say what you want to see, not what you are seeing. God did not say look at darkness. He said let there be light. Your words must be progressive. Your words must be progressive. I'm going to the next level. God is increasing me. He is multiplying me. I'm going from grace to grace. From glory to glory. My business is going upwards and forth. And sometimes it is these leeches around us in Africa. People are always taking money from you that make you fear for you to say you have money. Learn to say no. I will not speak poverty in the name of the fear of being asked for money. I've liberated someone. I've liberated someone. Somebody say, say it. Say so. Speak so. Declare so. So you speak your redemption. With the heart, Romans 10, 10. Don't forget that scripture. This way. One believes inside unto righteousness. But still with your mouth you have to confess. Even the salvation, you have got to confess it. Basic salvation. Until they come here to the front and we say, say, say in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, I receive you. Huh? I don't say receive Jesus. I tell them to say it. If they don't say it, they can't receive it. When you say it, it is an act of your will. When you say it, you are participating. When you say it, you are involved. When you are quiet, you are not involved. Jesus could have spoken his liberty. He would not have died on the cross of Calvary. The Bible says, he said, I could have called, spoken, and called legions of angels to come. You are quiet and your angels are there gathering dust. 
speak it angels hearken to the voice to the voice find it to me to the voice angels hearken to the voice of the word you need to give voice to the word just because chinchakanyo wrong baby has read the chako Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength. You see, if you are my angels, that do his commands, huh? hearkening, here's your part, unto the voice of his word. Who gives the, 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 the word voice? Who gives the word voice? It's you. So if you are quiet, angels are there, the power is there, but it's dormant. So, because that's kutaura. Takanyarara, Tirukunyara, Amen Runyarachi. Say it. Say, I'm wealthy. Wealth and riches shall be in my house. Resources are coming to me. Doors are opening for me that no man can shut. Watch this. So, angels are they are ready like this to move. Hello? And they are waiting for you to speak the word if you are quiet your angels are stagnant men of god archbishop keeps saying the same thing when he comes here he says you need to tell yourself <laughs> you are telling yourself i'm redeemed by the blood why are you not saying it don't assume it was done 2000 years ago and it's automatic listen that things that god did yes he did them but they have to be appropriated by you by you by you by you you can have money at Stan Big Bank, hello, and, and be starving. Until you go and make a demand and say, listen, Taylor, I want my US dollars now. If you just get to the bank and you keep quiet, again, they'll just also look at you. And they'll say, next customer, please. Coming to church is not enough. It's like going to the bank and keeping quiet. You are in the bank of prosperity. And when I say, say this, you are quiet. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to speak. You need to declare. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you find a scripture that suits your destiny, you have found something you can speak into the realm of the spirit and you can appropriate it. You can, I am the head and not the tail. I will never be the tail because I always say it. I am the head. Even if things go down, I will still come back up. Somebody say, say so. Joshua 1 8. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night. Before you meditate, hello, he says, it shall not depart from your mouth. So the declarations have departed from your mouth. That's why prosperity has departed from your house. If it's too big for your mouth, it's too big for your hand. If you can't speak it, you can't drive it. If you can't call it, you can't live in it. If you can't declare it, you can't enjoy it. You need to learn to speak. You are still single because that's what you are saying. And in Africa, we were taught to speak poverty. Zwakaoma is a statement you never hear at my house. And in Amari are words that I will never ever speak. Even if that is the truth, could and marry that time, I won't say it. Yeah. The fact could be I will not marry the moment, but the truth is you are wealthy and the wealth of heaven is backing you. The truth could be the, uh, the, the fact, I mean, the fact could be the, the economy is tough. But listen to me, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness of is the truth. It is not the facts that set you free, it is the truth. You have too many facts. 
you are speaking too many facts. The fact is waka broker, but the truth kalaba higher is that you are rich with blessings in heavenly places. Which one do you want? Do you want facts or do you want truth? I speak the truth, and you shall know the truth, the word of God, and the truth that you know and speak is what sets you free. You will never be set free, Clementine, by facts. There are too many factual believers. You need to be a believer with truth. The truth of scriptures. The truth of the word of God. And what I'm sharing with you is the truth on the blood of Jesus. Don't assume that the blood has covered you when you have not spoken it. When you have not spoken it, you better say it. Say I'm covered by the blood. Say I'm covered by the blood. If you, are, if you don't speak about the blood, demons will assume you don't know it. So they will. My demon analysis to make you know. I get one Oh, oh. So I go no far. I go a reminder. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. This, that is the truth. But the fact is, you could be feeling ugly today. But you say it. And the more you say it, the more fearful you become. The more you say it, the more wonderful you look. Are you catching this thing? How many are guilty of keeping quiet? Look around you. Raise your hands. Look around you. Okay. I have a question. How did you want the things to happen? Because you came to the auditorium. The, the Bible does not say that you come to the auditorium and then you shall be free. He says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Not come so. Say so. Not attend so. Say so. You've been attending so without saying so. Second Corinthians 4 13 to 15. Even if I just do this, only it's good enough. How many volumes of scriptures have I given you? Huh? Not just general scriptures, powerful scripture. The man of God confessed yesterday. This of those, who do you want to speak on your behalf, those scriptures? Things don't happen because I preached it. I will preach it. Then you take it and personalize it and internalize it and believe it. Since you believe, therefore you... <laughs> and the, since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written... I believe this and prove that I believe therefore I who spoke who spoke so if you say apostle spoke about the blood of Jesus that is apostle you are not apostle you are I I mkoma I gataori anti I taurai I speak. <laughs> taura, taura. Since I believe, do you believe in the blood of Jesus? Then you need to speak it. He says, since you believe, speak. Also, if you don't believe, you don't speak it. So you internalize it. You study it. You meditate on it until you believe it. Then it has power when you speak it after you believe. Are you catching this thing? So the believers are lazy. Vanda kushandirwa. Kushandirwa kushande. Kushandirwa kushande. Work out your own salvation. I'm going to know shandirwa. Work out your own. Work out your own. Work out your own. So you get 30 scriptures on the blood of Jesus. I sent you more than 50. We can go to swipe left. Or end up TikTok. Did I, did I send you scriptures on the blood? Yes. Huh? Yes. You swiped left. You should have taken them. Plastered them all over your wall. 
began to look at them, Otanga Kwa declare the blood of sprinkling. It's there in your phone, but you are hiding it. You are hiding the solution. Go back. Second Corinthians. Since you believe, do you believe? Do you believe in prosperity? Then speak it. Do you believe you are supposed to be delivered? Then speak it. You have to speak it. No one will speak it for you. Oto Taura, Itoribasa. It's a profession of faith. Become a professional faith professional. Uchi Taura, Taura. He said, Open your mouth wide and I'll feel it. He says, But you would not open your mouth. Psalm 81. So I left you over to your stubborn self. And I left you over to your stubborn self. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I'll feel it. So you can come out of Egypt but be hungry because you're quiet. After, even after a demon goes out of you, begin to speak about your progress and begin to speak about affliction shall not arise a second time. If you don't speak it, that affliction is coming back. Affliction shall not arise a second time. Is a provision made available in the book which needs to be spoken. This is good teaching. This is good teaching. This is good teaching. Somebody say, I will speak it. Say, I will declare it. Do you want a house with a double story? So if you don't say it, you get a bungalow. If you want a bungalow, speak a bungalow. Nothing wrong with a bungalow. Me, I'm not interested. Hello? If, but if you want a double story, who do you want to speak it for you? Papa said, Papa said, what did you say? Do you want money? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I will not try to you. Do you want money? Yes. Uh, do you want money? Yes. Do you want money? Yes. Shout money. Shout money. Come to me. Yes. Now. Yes. Uh, the Bible says riches have wings. Whatever has wings has ears. The Bible says call those things that be not as though they were. Why are you not calling it? Why are you not calling it? Listen, stop playing hard to get with the things of God. A woman wants to talk to a man. Huh? She, wants, she wants him to call her. Pick up the phone and phone him. Don't ask why didn't you call me. Just pick up the phone. Hello, Dave. And you've got his number. And this is what God's children are doing with the blessings. They are just assuming. They are just thinking I want to be blessed. Just like the woman is assuming I want him to call me. Now you are angry. About what? Call that house. Call it. He says, call it. Your house is there in the brook. Call it. Call it. As it is written. I have made you the father of many nations in the presence of, the, of, of him who believed. This one. Who gives life to the dead. Calling. Calling. Those things. The things. Pastor Vezinundini. <laughs> The things call those things, call them, call them. People call me Pastor and yet every day my I don't know I don't know if I don't know I don't know I the things, the things, the things. Do you want the things? Yeah. Call them. Call them. Declare them. Speak them. You want a decent house? Call it. Don't just say, I want a house. Begin to explain exactly what kind of house you want. Hey. Somebody say, I will call it. Say, I will call it. You want to go to Dubai? Stop thinking it and start saying it. 
tukaenda Dubai usinaka na send tukaenda Dubai tukaenda Dubai Alama haya holy atama haya pam jumera here i come pola haya tola bakata mahaya drengeji driver farari pa ika baso shaba listen who told you you have to have money for you to speak the problem is you want to speak when you have money you never have money until you call it somebody say i'm a millionaire akona kudzipwa akona kudzipwa say i'm a millionaire say i call my millions i summon my millions i declare them in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i summon i call millions of dollars into my account into my safe into my strong room I summon I call in the name of Jesus And you call things that do not exist as though they did Ma millions acha hapo asanda kudainwa anda anda kutoda kutodanwa kutodanwa aya au sasa what done contract uh, begin to call the contracts begin to call the marriage begin to call the wedding day don't be quiet speak it don't be shy shy about what thank you holy spirit innocent when people go to evil altars they are asked what they want they don't say are you listening they will say we want the life of arnold god forbid I don't know about Arnold. Otora say name, Otora Zinza, so that is specific and clear. You here in church, I'm saying say me millions. Is that not pride? Nika kuba million na wide re baba. I told you, stop playing hard to get. Hearing me. You need to speak and position yourself. Call it, call it, call it. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. But I'm calling a new Range Rover for her. She doesn't even know. But I'm already calling it. Koinga on motor, I have a 3000 case. Is it in your one? Munaidi. Yo, Corolla, Munaidi. Call it. Call it. Call. Defender that only ten nine, second day, Patinash. So it, 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 it's making room, so I call other things. Why are you why are you pretending to be satisfied? I was about to say, why are you satisfied? You are not satisfied, you are pretending. You shall have houses. You don't speak as if God is on a budget. The first screen I spoke about here was eleven thousand dollars huh i called 11 people they came to the front i mean remember and most of them gave their seat most hello the lord said that's not the screen i want then he showed me this screen and he said start speaking it thirty thousand us dollars <laughs> hello he said you are paying the balance Hello? We paid the balance. Then we asked you for duty. But if I was quiet, two meters by two meters. 
Listen, what am I saying? Anything you want, if you don't call it, it will end as a wish. You want to go for a holiday in the Bahamas? Huh? So why are you saying raw areas? <laughs> Remove raw areas and call Bahamas. invoice. It's like, you know, I'm helping you tonight. In Europe, it's, it's a continuous series. It also delay a badness. Number delay number one. You are too mute for the blessing of the Lord. Open your mouth wide. The Lord said to me, "If you speak and people don't speak against what you are speaking, you are not speaking. If you don't, if you speak and people don't call you crazy, it means you are not speaking in faith." You are speaking what you can do. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Don't call what you can afford. Just buy it. Caption, caption. Get these captions, please. Don't call what you can afford. Just go ahead and buy it. When you are calling, call for what you cannot afford. Call for what you cannot do. Then you are summoning my heart, the beckon of heaven. When I call things I can't afford, then the God who can afford it, uh, he holds my hand and says, you need me for this one. So God gives you the desires of your heart. He first put the desire in you and then he wants you to speak it. And he wants it to sound ridiculous so that when it happens, people can say, this could only be God. I am calling it. Range Rover, am I? I am calling it. I call it. I summon. I call it. I, I declare it. Restaurant, am I? I call it. If you are quiet, it will never happen. You remain with that tax shop. Hey. We've been given these weapons by God. Do you believe? Yes. Then speak. Say, I will speak from now. And listen, don't speak quietly. Sometimes we say Joseph got into trouble because he spoke too much. Have you heard those kind of sermons? Don't tell everyone everything. I'm here with a new doctrine. Imagine, if you speak quietly, it will be a quiet blessing. Taura risk. Okay. Maybe some ladies will remember. Is it maybe three years ago? Your mother had a party. I may remember. Ukunas will go. Organics will go. Do you remember? I came there with no money in my pocket. And I said, I'm going to buy a, a GLE. Do you remember? Do you remember? Brand new. I didn't have the money. But I went there publicly. Put my reputation on the line. There were people with their phones. recorder. When I left there, I got in my car and I said, Lord, you see they are recording. <laughs> if you don't come through for me you also be part of the embarrassment call it call it <laughs> Jesus was a man of no reputation you are trying to keep your reputation so you are only calling you are only speaking what you can do then you just do it Do you know how risky it is to say we are going to have a church inside the mall? Men of God just say we are going to have a church and keep quiet. That's the devil speaking. But when I say mall and church inside the mall. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Are you here, somebody? Lift up your right hand. Say, I summon resources in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree as the man of God from Eswatini, he told us and rebuked us that we are not speaking. So I will speak from today going forward. I will declare things. I will not be quiet. I will call my next level, next level property, next level house, next level money, next level resources. I am calling it. I summon it. Since I believe, therefore I speak. I refuse to keep quiet. I will not be mute about my next level. Just like this new screen is the next level I summon my own next level I partake of this level I declare and I decree I am moving upwards and I'm moving forward I'm upgrading just like the church has upgraded this TV screen I'm upgrading to another level Jehovah by the same anointing I call my next level I declare and I decree no more struggle I speak it I speak speak struggle and I command it to end I speak I decree every struggle you are ending in the name of Jesus when he said it yesterday my heart shook that you are too quiet shy about what my wife does not need another Range Rover but I'm still calling it. Some things you just do it just to tell the devil, just to remind poverty that you don't live here anymore. Are you hearing me? Don't miss Friday morning. Friday morning we are going to be calling things. Summoning. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if we do it as a corporate anointing, I'm telling you, listen to me. Th thank you, Lord. There are things in the realm of the spirit we have not yet called them, but we are going to call them. I said we are going to summon them. We'll put our seed on the altar and we'll open our big mouth. You don't hear me? And we begin to prophesy. Since we believe, therefore we speak. Faith is a risk. You must say things that people will say, ah, there's something wrong with this guy. Does he not know what's happening in the economy? Say things that will force heaven to back you. Say things that will make God slide to the edge of his prayer and say, did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said he thinks we can do? We are going to force heaven into action because of our mouth. We are going to create things with our mouth. Not only will you be calling the things, but you will be creating. Uh, we are creating new properties. We are creating things believers can see. We are creating yards, houses on hills, farms. You need to create it. You need to speak it. Don't speak chickens if you want cows. Shout, I will call it. Say, I will summon it. Say, I will declare it. Say, boldly, I will speak it. And it will come to pass. My God will back me as I say it. Heaven will back me as I speak it. It must come to pass. Say, I decree it. I confess it. I declare it. It will come to pass. My next level, I summon it. This current level, Ebenezer, you have taken us this far. But you can take us further. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the healed of the Lord say so. Let the prospered of the Lord say so. Let the healed of the Lord say so. Somebody say, I'm saying so. Microphone. Say, I'm saying so. One minute, begin to call some things. Pray, pray, pray. Call some things. Declare some things. Prophesy some things. Say, tomorrow is the holiday, we will rest. Say it, come on, let's make the tonight count. Say it, say it, say it, say it. Listen. We are providing combis to take people to the 
trans, to the transport depots those just outside church so don't go early for the sake of security combis will be going to marketplace fourth street church office copacabana and please receive grace to get your own car I, I had to put that in there. I had to put that in there. Please start calling for your own car and start seeding for your own car. But meanwhile, we have combis that will take you to those places. You see, I can just talk about the combis and end there. That means people stay in combis. But I must also speak your new car. I must also... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This church has the highest member to car ratio in this nation so it is possible say it again say it is possible say I believe and I will speak finally numbers 23 verse 23 hallelujah the Lord shifted the agenda and I went with the Lord because listen the man of God has come to usher us to a new level Thank you, Lord. You can't go to a new level speaking your old level. Speak your new level. Jesus was not crazy. He used to speak to, he spoke to trees. Some of you need to go and speak to your wardrobe. And some shoes, you need to tell them you are going. If you've not worn a shoe for three years, it's because it's out of fashion. Speak, speak. When you speak, there's always a voice that says, is it necessary? And you need to speak louder than that voice. So many times we celebrate what the Bible says, but it doesn't happen because we don't repeat it. There is no more sorcery against Jacob. Yeah. No divination against Israel. Amana, guys, praise God. Then it must be said. It must be said. Not it must be read. It must be said. The man of God said it yesterday. I'm just picking up from where he left off. You say it and keep saying it. Watch this. Consistent giving, he spoke. And consistent speaking. Don't stop giving. Don't stop speaking. Don't stop, don't stop praying. Don't stop giving. Don't stop speaking. Thank God for all the other mysteries. But all oh, these, just these three mysteries, your life will change. Your life will change. And when God gives you a, a scripture, it's not to decorate your notebook. Put it in your mouth and start to exercise that scripture until you know it off by heart and then you declare it and then you superimpose it over problems in the realm of the spirit and then when the realm of the spirit is tired you now begin to speak it again. Someone from one of these churches from a false prophet sent me a message. He says, man of God, I had a dream and um, in the dream, uh, you, you were walking, me, you were walking from Shtungiza. <laughs> me. I said, I thank God that his word is forever. And your dreams, your dreams are temporary, but his word is forever. I typed 30 scriptures. And on prosperity, I sent them to him. I said, that is my portion. Amen. And I said, wherever that dream is coming from, meanwhile, he's the one who sent the dream. I send it back there. I dealt with that thing in the realm of the spirit. When the devil threatened Jesus, Jesus did not say, I'm a child of God. I'm God. I carry God's blood. He said, it is written. He said, it is written. He spoke spoke the word and then he spoke another scripture and then he spoke another scripture and the Bible says the devil left him, left him for a season if you want the enemy to back off speak the word 
I will never be threatened by a dream. Maybe you ate too many beans and then you had a bad dream. I'm not allowed that to threaten my destiny. Heaven, heaven, danger can pass away and earth can pass away. But his word is forever. So I speak the permanent word over my life. I change situations in my life by the word of God. I fight witchcraft over my life by the word of God. The man of God spoke about you being, listen to me. He spoke about new creation realities. Who you are in Christ. That is powerful. But it is useless if you don't speak. Don't just assume a position in which you are not speaking. You are seated with Christ so you can speak. So you speak from that position. Not just assume that nothing will happen to me. No, you better say it. There is no more witchcraft. It must be said. It must be said. And you need to say to the realm of the spirit and to yourself what the blood of Jesus can do. Amen. Say it. Amen. Lift up your offering. Lift up your offering. Say Holy Spirit by this offering I declare and I decree financially I'm going upwards and I'm going forwards. I connect to this altar. I declare and I decree by the hand. Lift up your seat. If you have your seat, lift it up quickly. Lift it up quickly. Hallelujah. And learn to speak to your wallet. And speak to your bag. And tell your bag. Remember what you said yesterday. You're not forgetting newspapers. And business cards of businesses that have not been opened. We're going to speak. We're going to declare. And even when you bring your seed here, you better have said something. You don't just quietly bring your seed. Speak before. Declare things over that seed. Hallelujah. I want us to upgrade our, our, hey, our aggression. Hallelujah. You must insist on being blessed. Raise that offering unto heaven. Say, Father, with this seed, with this sacrifice, I connect to the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Let me be blessed and highly favored as I place this seed and this offering on the altar of God. I connect to the blessing of the Lord. Let my life exhibit that blessing. Let my life show that I am the blessed of the Lord. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I am the favored of the Lord. As I pray right now in the Holy Ghost, lifting up my offering, I connect to the power of heaven, the blessing of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, men, bring your offering. Ladies, just lift it up. Keep praying. Keep praying. Men, come quickly. Keep praying. Keep praying. We prophesy. We declare the blessing. We say we are blessed. We are favored. God is increasing us and multiplying us. We are going from one level of grace to the next. Our God is elevated us. Our God is increasing us and multiplying us. We will see supernatural financial grace multiplication in the name of Jesus. The mighty hand of God is upon us. Let us experience the blessing, the grace of God, the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Let us see financial glory. Let us see financial blessings. Come on, you have to say it. You have to say it. We speak it, we declare it in the name of Jesus. The blessing of the Lord is upon our lives. Speak the blessing. Come on, speak the blessing. You have to speak it. You have to prophesy it. You have to prophesy it. Declare it. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say it, say it. Come on, say it. Create some things with your mouth. Prophesy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Praise the name of the Lord. Did you learn something tonight? I was just repeating what he was saying and bringing out another revelation. We will never be guilty of being quiet. Hallelujah. And some statements that he says, you need to pick them and take them and run with them. I went to Swaziland, Eswatini, and I, I saw the man of God. He was prophesying and prophesying. He said a statement and this is where I got it from my life will go upwards and forwards. I've always said it. And since I started saying it, shoo, shoo. Yes. Hallelujah. You need to catch good habits. Ladies, bring your offering. Ladies, bring your offering. 
Hallelujah. Say, I'm the blessed of the Lord. Say, the hand of the Lord is upon my finances. I will see multiple blessings. I will see open doors. Opportunities are coming my way. The grace of God is coming heavy upon my life. Let me see and experience supernatural blessings and opportunities in the name of Jesus. As I connect to this altar with my seed, with my offering, with my tithe, with my sacrifice, let it reflect in my business life. Let it reflect in my finances. I will never run dry financially. I declare and I decree resources are coming my way. My God is blessing me, multiplying me, increasing me, granting me supernatural financial dominion. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I decree, I am blessed and I am favored. In the name of Jesus, can somebody say amen? Hallelujah. Please remember that at the, when the man of God hands over the microphone, there will be three or four combis outside taking you to the different destinations where people catch combis. This Copacabana, 4th Street, where else? Market Square. And where's the other one? Church office. Hallelujah. So you don't have to go early. Please, for security reasons, we actually insist that you don't go out by yourself. Can you enforce that at the back? Security, please, let's be safe. Hallelujah. We are making strides and efforts to make sure that this place is secure and that people are secure in this place. Hallelujah. The enemy is just attacking this particular area. But anyway, the enemy will not prevail. We speak it and it shall be so. In the name of Jesus. Can somebody say amen? amen? Hallelujah. Please help me welcome my best friend, great man of God, a general of God, Apostle Justice Lamini, all the way from Eswatini. Come on, let's welcome the man of God. Do we love Apostle? I love Apostle because he just tells you like it is. He tells you straight. And what he tells you works. Hallelujah. And remember he has an anointing to take you to the next level. So can we receive the grace that is in the house. One more time all the way from Eswatini. Let's welcome the man of God. You are welcome sir. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. Say, my level is changing. Level is changing. Say, neighbor, neighbor. With, all respect, with all due respect, this is the last time, the last time. You, see you see me at this level. At this level. Please believe it. Please believe. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. This evening, I want to thank God once again who has given us the gift of life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lift up your hand and just appreciate life. Open your mouth and pray. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. Please pray like you're appreciating life. You know how many people are in the ICU? How many people perished all over the world? Father, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, mighty God, for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, great Jehovah, for the good plans you have for us. We give you praise, Almighty God. We thank you. We glorify your holy name. We are so grateful, Almighty God, because we are the redeemed of the Lord. We live, we move, we are alive, well and kicking, because your grace and your mercy keeps on sustaining us. To you be all the glory. In Jesus' name. Lift up here and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless your holy name for the gift of life you made me you created me in your image and according to your likeness i resemble you i carry your dna thank you so much i live i move i'm alive and kicking this day because your grace 
your power sustains me. Thank you very much. To you be all the glory. I bless you for the gift of life. In Jesus name. Amen. Clap your hands for that. <laughs> Lift up your hands. Secondly, I want you to thank God for the gift of salvation. What a miracle. What a miracle. To know Jesus. To be connected to Jehovah your creator. Say Father I thank you. That once upon a time. Your grace located me. Your eyes located me. You sent forth the grace of salvation to my life. Thank you so much for the gift of my salvation. Thank you so much for reconciling me back to you. Thank you so much for allowing me to have a relationship with you, my Father. Thank you so much for bathing me anew. I stand right now, not as an ordinary African, but I am a child of the Most High God. Thank you so much for the greatest miracle of my salvation. I give you praise. I give you glory. I will forever celebrate my redemption. Clap your hands and say thank you Father. Thank you so much. Thank you for my salvation. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a new creation. I'm born again. God is my Father. I'm his child. I belong to him forever. In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Number three. Thank God for the gift of the Holy Spirit. You have to believe he's on the inside of you. Hold you say I'm pregnant. In John chapter 7, Jesus spoke some words. I think it's John 7, 37 or 38. He said, those who believe in him, out of their bellies shall gush out rivers of living waters he was talking about the holy spirit say i have the holy river i have the holy spirit say i'm impregnated divinely impregnated i am the embodiment of the holy spirit say my body is the residence of the holy ghost he lives in me he moves in me he prays through me he operates by me lembra hashana pray 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 to welcome holy spirit i celebrate your presence and say father thank you for the gift of the holy spirit he lives on the inside of me i have the anointing I have the Holy Spirit. Lambro kapa zete mayanta masaka lepra hashina masukabaya. I have the Holy Gift of Heaven. Say, Holy Spirit, I celebrate your presence. Holy Spirit, I celebrate your presence in my life. I cherish you. I cherish your presence. Thank you very much, Holy Spirit. I am in you, and you are in me. Lindo kastilana masukabaya lepra hash. Shana Masaka. Say, dear Holy Spirit, I celebrate, I cherish, I appreciate your presence in my life. Holy Spirit, have a free expression in my life. Holy Spirit, increase your influence over my life. Holy Spirit, let nothing hinder you, limit you in my life. Rise within me. Holy Spirit, keep on pushing my life upward and forward pray through me pray by me pray with me let your anointing rest upon me fresh anointing in the name of jesus clap your hands and celebrate the holy ghost yes do it like you're appreciating the holy spirit he is your empowerment lendo castilana masukabaya yes shalina masukabaya and say I have the Holy Spirit greater is he that is in me first John 4 4 it says you are now of God it means you hail from God you no longer hail from your village you hail from Jehovah first John 4 4 it says you are of God now little children and have overcome because he who is in you is greater than he 
he who is trying to fight you say holy ghost the greater one in me by you i overcome by you i win by you i conquer by you i emerge as a victor day after day i keep on overcoming by the holy ghost power thank you my father oh hallelujah i want to thank god for the good plans he has for you Amen. jeremiah 29 11 for i know the plans i have for you it doesn't matter what others are thinking tell your neighbor in case you are thinking funny things about me god has got good plans for me you are wasting your time the agenda of jehovah is what will stand it will override and supersede every evil agenda of the devil and people that are used by the devil say father in the name of jesus thank you very much for the good plans you have for me for the year 2024 the devil is a liar the devil is a loser what you have purposed concerning my life who can change the bible says in job 42 2 what god has purposed who can alter who can change lepro Shana Mayan, Lepro Kapazea Boschete, Ela Masika Baya, what God has purposed, what God has decided, no devil can change. Oh my God, the grass may wither, the flowers may dry and fall, but the word of Jehovah, it stands forever. Do like this and say the word of the Lord, it stands forever. We praise you, Father. We praise you, my God. Are you excited? I want you to thank God for your prophet and his dear wife. Ah, 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 ah. Before you shout, why are we thanking God for them? Ah, Jeremiah 315, King James Version. Ah, Shinali Masuka. Ah, 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 ah. Look at it in the in the and I, I will give you why pastors who according to my heart. Put the pastors one. Who will do what? Who shall feed you with knowledge and what? And uh, is he feeding us? Yeah. Your yes is too weak, man. It's full of jealousy. Are they feeding you? Yes. Some of you, if it was in prayer shift or kingdom prosperity, meaning you, I don't even want to say, you, you would be, you would be a walking confusion. Lift up your hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless your holy name from the bottom of my heart for connecting me with this ministry, with your men of God, my prophet, my pastor, Apostle Rodney, and prophetess Farai, our parents in the Lord, our prophets, our leaders in the things of God. Father, thank you for day after day, week after week, month after month, I come into this spiritual restaurant to feast on the word of God, dished out by the servants of the Lord. Thank you, my father. My life has changed ever since the devil has lost control over my life. My life has a new direction. I Upward and forward, say the grace they carry, it is duplicated, replicated in my life. Say, I carry the same. Clap your hands and reaffirm it. La Bruhashina Masaka. Yes, clap your hands and say, Yes, I carry the grace of the house. I carry the same anointing. I sit under this grace. I sit under this covering. Ha 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 ha. I will never go down in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Now, before we pray tonight, say night of programming. 
my April month and the remainder of 2024. Say power is in my mouth. Say I'm a commander. Ah, 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 ah. Let me see the commanders. I'm a commander. Amen. Before we get there, let me take this time to acknowledge the man of God and his dear wife. Thank you so much for having me by force. I didn't plan to come here, but you, because of our relationship, you brought me through. And I'm so grateful to see what God has been doing in this work, do in this church through you. And I remember those days many years ago, 20, 2009, that's when we first met. Amen. You came to preach in another church in Swaziland. And they, a member they said, the man who came in that church is supposed to be in your church. So, the member connected us and they say the rest is history. Amen. That time you were a traveling minister, I said, this man needs to start a church. Hallelujah. So, we discussed it. Lo and behold, KPM was born. Yeah. Hallelujah. And he was preaching in my morning, uh, we call the morning glory services which we pushed in Swaziland. So he came, they preached, and he copied, he copied the... <laughs> he stole the franchise. <laughs> and he rebranded his and he called it prayer shift. I said, wow. So I'll be collecting royalties for as long as I live. So when you see me here, I come here to compliment this work, to strengthen this work, and to also collect my royalties. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And because when God duplicates something elsewhere, it always doubles in grace. This prayer shift will become a national operation. I'm praying for him and his wife to get their own property and build because I've seen already that glorious, majestic auditorium full of thousands and thousands of people. Your clapping is full of jealousy. Are you the witch? <laughs> oh, I see all of you as ushers in the gigantic auditorium. You are not members. You are just ushers, workers. And may God grow this ministry exponentially. May KPM and prayer shift grow in leaps and bounds. Amen. May this ministry become a formidable force in Zimbabwe and beyond. Amen. May prayer shift mushroom everywhere in the southern hemisphere. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless this ministry and bless it indeed. Amen. May God enlarge you, men of God. Amen. May you never go down. May you never slow down. May you keep on advancing. May you keep on progressing. May you keep on growing in all dimensions. May your children expand and large and prosper like never before. May God grant your daughters to become great women of our time. May you and your wife become a force to reckon. I bless your marriage, I bless your union, I bless your family, I bless your children, I bless this ministry, I bless your businesses, I bless everything that you will set your hand to do. Let this season be your season of breaking through into greater wealth, breaking through into greater wonders. In the name of Jesus, 
in the office of an apostle and by reason of the years of experience that I've had with the Lord and by reason of my age I pronounce and I proclaim the blessing of the Lord upon this ministry upon every member of KPM and prayer shift upon the families of these people upon their businesses upon their jobs upon their careers I bless this whole work I say this work will increase I say this assembly will expand I declare that this work will grow in leaps and bounds I declare that your speed will increase the grace will accelerate you you will see greater wonders from this season I declare April a new season a season of expansion a season of increase a season of breaking through a season of mo moving forward in greater power in the name of Jesus oh you earth the earth the earth oh you sun moon stars winds that blow and all of creation record it in your archives that the ministry called KPM and prayer shift under the leadership of Rodney Chipoyera and his dear wife Ferrari and their daughters this ministry will grow and keep on growing and keep on growing and keep on growing record it all you earth the earth the earth record it all you sun all you stars all you winds that blow all you creation elements of creation all you heavens the earth and under the earth record it hey la kusta lima sukaya every member of this church and those who will come and join as soon as they join they will experience amazing breakthroughs increase oh my god they will break through by the authority vested upon my life i bless this ministry in the name of god the father in the name of god the son in the name of god the holy spirit the bible says i shall decree a thing in the order of job 22 28 and it shall be established for us i decree and i declare and it is established in this year of establishment that kpm and prayer shift will become stronger and stronger it will grow like the cedar of lebanon it will flourish like the palm tree this ministry will go forth this ministry will go forth I declare the year 2424 a year of the breaking through of all the members the things you have been praying for the things you have been desiring I program them for you I decree and I declare I say this is your time this is your season this is your moment break free and break forth in the name of Jesus all barriers are shut up all barriers are shattered whatsoever was delaying you we sweep it out of the way oh the Lord is going before you leveling every mountain cutting through bars of iron destroying gates of bronze God is giving you access to greater wealth to greater riches you will access the riches of the rich the wealth of the wealth you shall connect we destiny help us this is your season pray 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 and say yes lord la prohashana masaka le prohashina masukanda la praka pasata bayana 
I destroy altars that were raised by your ancestors in crawls, in rivers, in cemeteries, in mountains, and I call you forth to fulfill your destiny wherever you were locked. I unlock you, I release you, I destroy all powers that were contending against your destiny. I release you to fulfill your destiny in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, in the name of King Jesus. I release, I release you to fulfill your destiny. Lembro Hashuna Masaka, pray in tongues, prophesy. Lebro Hashana Masaka, I release you, I release you, I release you, I release you, I release you. Every satanic and demonic programming that was programmed over your life while you were still a baby in your mother's womb, I alter, I modify, I change that programming and I release the blessing of the Lord upon your name, upon your appearance, upon your destiny in the name of Jesus. Lembro Hashena Masa. Hey, Shalina Masukanda. Aleba Sekabaya. Oh, Shalina Masaka. Lebro Kapazatabaya. Lambro Hashena Masaka. I say, oh you principalities, oh you powers and rulers of this dark world, oh you demonic hosts of wickedness operating in the heavenly realm over Harare, over Zimbabwe, hear the word of the Lord. You will not stop the men of God. You will not stop this ministry. You will not destroy their marriage, their family. You will not destroy any member of this ministry, oh you principalities. Pilates, I come against you in the name of Jesus. I come against you. Oh, you powers. Oh, you rulers. Oh, you demonic hosts of wickedness. Give way. I decree open heavens over this ministry. I give the men of God territorial control. Yeah. Territorial control. Men of God have territorial control. Lepro Hashana Masaka. May you rise. May you rise. Let your spirit wage war in the realm of the spirit. Oh, setting captives free over this nation. May the anointing of the Lord come upon you so strong. May the anointing of Jehovah rest upon you in a mighty way in the remaining months of the year 2024. Go forth with greater power proclaim the word with greater power le costalina masukanda may these people start new businesses may these people start new businesses May these people start new businesses. May these people access wealth. May these people access the best. Oh my God of the resources of this nation. In the name of Jesus. Who shall in a massacre? Mantalabasaka. Who shall have a Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. By the Spirit of God, I've blessed you. Your life has just shifted to a higher level. Let me give you this instruction. I don't know whether I made the statement yesterday, but the devil uses a certain force which is called doubt. To cause Christians to abort their miracles. That spirit of doubt, you need to fight it. The Bible says the person who doubts, I'm sure it's James 1 7. The person who doubts is like a weed that is tossed to and fro. It painfully ends by saying, a person like that who's double-minded, 
must not expect to receive anything from the Lord. That's very painful. Lift up your hands. Look at verse 7. Look at verse 7 of this verse. That's the most powerful one. Most tragic one. If you read it in the New Living Translation, you know, it says, such people should not expect such. We declare things here, and because the Bible has already told us that there are devils who come to steal the word, people go out, the devil just blanks them, men of God. They forget everything. Oh, I protect you by the Holy Ghost fire. The word of God will be engraved in your spirit. It's unerasable. The word of God will sit in your spirit. The word of God will, will ring in your spirit. You will not forget the blessing of tonight. When I was speaking a blessing over you, I was dealing with a deficiency. Your father was supposed to bless you while you were a baby. And through ignorance, they just gave you milk and they let you grow and run without a blessing. In the church of God, that's where we correct those things. I declare you are blessed. Everyone under the sound of the voice of the man of God and his wife and my voice, you are now under a new order. No curse will follow you. No curse will manifest in your life. The blessing of the Lord will manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Just touch your forehead. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I destroy every spirit of doubt from my system. I flush it out by the blood of redemption. The blood of Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit, establish in me stubborn faith faith that is unshakable in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and say my faith is going to another level. My faith is rising in Jesus name. Amen. Now let's discuss these things. The first thing that you need to do if you are going to successfully program your new life level you've got to believe in the blessing rather doubt the curse. Do you do like this, like we are pointing, say, Kes, yes. I doubt you. You can't have a hold on my life. You were defeated over 2,000 years ago. Say, blessing of the Lord. Lift your hand up. Say, blessing of the Lord. Lift your hand. I believe in your presence. I believe in your reality. In my life. In the name of Jesus. Say, I decide right now that never again will I perceive myself, will I imagine myself as someone who carries the curse never again. I will only see myself as the blessed one, as one who carries the blessing according to the word of God that never lies in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Listen, let me make this very serious statement. You can't experience a blessing you cannot believe in. The blessing is more powerful than the curse. When the blessing comes, the curse disappears. I don't believe, men of God, that we Christians have got so much weak faith such that the sorcerer by the name of Balaam believed better than us. The head of state by the name of Balak, a king, paid serious money to a sorcerer in Numbers chapter 22. And requested this national sorcerer to go and curse the children of Israel. So Balaam agreed and he raised seven altars 
Because an altar alters your destiny. Each time you drop an offering here, you are, you are, you are, you are raising an altar. So just before he carried out the assignment, he got a revelation. He told the king, I'm sorry. Though I've already received the payment. This is mission in Posecant. <laughs> he spoke some words, men of God, they changed my life up to today. He said, what God has blessed, you can't curse. Amen. You know the story I'm talking about. So both the king and the sorcerer, they had to turn back. Which means the moment you become a child of God, the blessing of the Lord takes over. Ephesians 1.13 says, Blessed be unto God who has blessed us, say me. Ephesians 1.3 With all spiritual blessings in the heavenly realms, by your mouth you pull them down. It doesn't say blessed be unto God the Father who is trying to bless us. He has already blessed us. Amen. And let me speak to you like the sorcerer. Because you are blessed, you are uncaseable. Amen. Your amen is too weak. Amen. Let me help you. You see, if we switch off this light, darkness will set in without prayer. That's how it is. Light and darkness do not share the same place. They can't coexist. In the same way, you cannot carry the blessing and the curse. It's not possible. Listen, if you cease the manifestation of bad things in your life, it is because in your mind you have programmed some negativism. So the curse is generated from how you perceive yourself. It's not actually a real curse. It's a fake curse. Why? Because the Bible in the writings of Solomon says, just as you think, so shall you be. I'm begging you in this very powerful night of programming, stop believing in the curse. Believe in the blessing. Why? The science of Christianity says, these signs, Mark 16, follow those who believe. It means according to kingdom principles and systems and order, you will not be followed by what you don't believe in. Meaning, if you don't believe that you are blessed, but keep on thinking you are cursed, what will follow you is what you believe. Then you will insult the man of God and say his prayers are not working. But the engineer of the abortion is you. Be careful. From tonight, watch what you think. In case you don't know, life is governed by a law. It is called the law of attraction. It means the things I believe so much in is exactly what I keep on attracting. If I think people don't love me, I will keep on meeting people who will show me lousy attitudes. It's the law of attraction. If you think we are not good enough, bad things will keep on appearing for you by the law of attraction. That's why one of the rules that must govern your life, two of them, you must believe so much in your God and you must believe so much in yourself. Amen. 
If you don't believe in yourself, good things will reject you. Yesterday I made a statement. Money is proud. It doesn't go to the confused. In case you didn't know. Before money comes, it looks at you like this. This guy's confused. So $50 tells $100, I'm not going there. $50 says I was also not going. He looks confused. Lift up your hand unto heaven. You see, power, power is generated from perception. If you can see yourself as a champion, as an overcomer, as the best of the best, best things will keep on happening for you. You attract what you believe in. Amen. Pray, talk to yourself now. Talk to God. Say, Father, I believe in you. I change. I repent. I change my mental perception. I choose from this night to believe in you, my God. And I believe in myself. Say, Father, I embrace a new mental security. I believe in myself. I believe in you, my God. I embrace a new I knew my God oh my perceptional security I see myself as a champion lembro hashuna masuka babaya lambro kapa zete masia makata lembro kapa zutu kama zea boshete la babaze lambra kapa zata say father in the name of Jesus put your other hand on your head say father in the name of Jesus ever since I connected with Jesus I was delivered I was redeemed from the curse the curse of my family line the curse of my generation the surname curses and all the curses of the bloodline I was delivered from from the day I connected with Jesus and the blessing of the Lord came upon my life. As things are now, I am under the blessing. I carry the blessing, the blessing of the Lord. And I have the Spirit of God living on the inside of me. I'm occupied by divinity. I'm a bearer of the divine order. I'm a bearer of the presence of the Lord in the person of the Holy Spirit. I believe in you, my God. I believe in the finished work of redemption i believe oh my god in your word i believe in what the bible says about me i am who the bible says i am i'm a child of the most high god i'm uncursable from this time ever since i accepted jesus the curse cannot rest upon my life the curse cannot manifest in my life i choose to believe in the blessing in the name of the lord oh hallelujah did i help you are you sure let me see those who believe that they are blessed listen it's a law if you believe it it will manifest are you understanding me? David spoke once upon a time. He said, goodness and Mercedes shall follow me. These were declarations of faith. I'm asking you a question. What do you believe or expect will follow you from today? Talk to me. Goodness. Good things. Favor. Money. Open doors. Destiny help us. Prosperity. Success. At a higher level. In Jesus name. Amen. Say thank you Jesus. The second thing you need to believe in. Number one. Believe in the blessing. Number two. Believe in your new identity. I'm telling you. I, I'm telling you. The Bible says in 1 John 3. 2. Now not tomorrow. We are children of God. 
We are sons and daughters of God. See yourself as such. Are you understanding me? God loved you and loved me. He adopted us to become his children. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. I told you, identity gives you access. I told you, children of powerful and influential rich people are proud. Are you proud? I'm proud. Are you proud? You are still thinking whether you are proud or not. I'm proud. I pride myself on who my daddy is. It's not about your height, your looks, your complexion, your dress code. It's a reality. The Bible says in 1 John 4.4, 4, you are of God now. You hail from God now. You originate from God now. We fast forward, we go to John 1.12. As many as received Jesus, they were given the authority, the right to become sons of God. Huh? The 13 in the New Living Translation says they are no longer born according to the natural order of biological fathers and mothers, but they are born of God. The blood of God is flowing in their system. Oh my God, may God help you to believe this. These are new creation realities. You've got to reprogram your mind. All those who are seated rise. Say, I'm a son of a king. I'm a daughter of a king. Let me tell you for free, for free. Your father is the creator of the heavens and the earth. What miracle can he not create for you? Your father is the ruler of the universe. The earth you live in is owned by your father. That's why you can choose to work and live anywhere in the world. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's. You can decide now and say, I'm relocating to Germany. Who cares? Germany is owned by my father. Your clapping is not convincing me. It's like you'll die in Zimbabwe, you. Don't be afraid to apply for visas. The sanctions are being lifted now. Plan to visit Canada. Just to chill out there. Canada belong, belongs to your father. What is all this? You must be locally based but globally connected. If you clap like this, I'll hand over the microphone back to the man of God. You are wasting my time. Men of God, when the traffic officers in South Africa caught me like two weeks ago, they were searching my bag. They found six passports. They say, what is this? I say, I travel too much all over the world. He says, whose passports? I say, they are all mine. Six? I said, yes. The visas can't fit in one. You are clapping like this, jealousy. Even if you don't clap, the visas can't fit in one passport. How can 290 countries, their visas fit in one passport? It's impossible. That traffic officer was shocked. He said, who are you? I said, I'm me. <laughs> Lift up your hand. you can just pass me i'm not like you know gigantic and big looking like your pastor but i'm dangerous <laughs> listen listen i'm not a powerful man of god never i'm a man of god connected to a powerful god you can't touch La kusta liba suka shata kapasta laya. Are you powerful? Let me see those who are powerful. La kusta lima suka bayanda masaka. Power is in my connection. Power out shaliba. Hey, 
Shalima Sakabaya. Look at your neighbor and say, are you powerful? Oh, and say, as for me, I'm a powerful somebody because I'm a child of the most powerful Jehovah. My God is omnipotent. Oh, oh, shaliba sukashitasi ale a a a a e la bosa a a a hey. We were doing a crusade in one area. Eight wizards of the area. They ganged up together to say they will destroy me. Huh. I said, who? I said, they are altars. They are shrines. They are operating tools. We'll catch fire. Men of God, hey, this is a real story. Hey, like three months later, all of them perished. They, they were dying. They were dying of strange diseases. I see the way you are clapping, you think I kill them. No, my identity destroyed them. Aliba Sukasita. Pastalaya, Alessa Isa Musa. Hey, say neighbor, be careful. I'm a child of the Most High God. I'm uncursable. No weapon formed against me. What weapon? Oh, Shalina Masuka Basa. I know who I am. Hey. Whether the witch is the short one or a tall one, who cares? You've got to believe in your God. He's a mighty God. You've got to believe in who he made you to be. The Bible says if a person be in Christ, he's a new design. Designed to prevail. Designed to overcome. Designed to win. I'm undestroyable. Uncursable. Because I'm a child of the most high God. I'm sure it's Ephesians 5, chapter 30, that about it says, "Were the bone of his bones, the flesh of his flesh, just as he is, so are we like him. Not physically, we're not talking about the outward man. The dangerous man is on the inside. T tell your neighbor, say to your neighbor, be careful. You can't see the real me. You may take some chances because you look on the outside say the power is on the inside the dangerous one you can see say be careful before you are scattered <laughs> hallelujah greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Another man threatened me in the paper and the media and so on. And he said, this man, the things he's speaking is too proud. We're going to deal with him. Then I responded in the next paper. I was in the front page. I said, the office will deal with him. <laughs> Listen, you, you just have to keep quiet. Let your new identity deal with it. You, you remember, you remember, you remember what God said to the children of Israel in the days of Joseph. He said, the battle is not yours. Stop stressing. Only believe. Lift up your right and say, I only believe. Men of God, this is the area we need to work on. So that you don't lead a church of quantity. Church of numbers. But you lead a church of quality. of people.
people who are strong in the Lord who know who they are from tonight pride in your new identity celebrate who you are pride in who your father is hallelujah I'm powerful because I'm a child of the powerful Jehovah. Amen. Amen. Let me ask you a question. If a lioness produces a cub, a small lion, and you see this big female mother lion, and then the small cub is walking next to the mother, because of its size, is it not a lion? Am I helping you? Tell your neighbor, be careful. Don't look at my size. I'm a product of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I'm a lion. I will deal with you. Oh, Shalina Masaka. You see that small cup is moving like this. It's a lion. It's a matter of time. It's growing. The muscles are developing. So you come here to be developed. Oh my God. You are going to be dealing with every attack. You are growing in leaps and bounds. Say I am a child of the most high God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh hallelujah. Believe in who God says you are. Psalm 82 verse number 6 it says I say ye are gods why are we gods because of who our father is a pig produces a piglet is it not a pig because it's small it's a pig <laughs> hallelujah I said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high. Lift up your right hand. Begin to pray. Speak to yourself. Preach to yourself. Say, Father, I change the way I see myself. From today I change. Oh, say, Father, I vow a vow. I will not forget these things. I'm internalizing these things. Yes, I'm locking these things in my subconscious and my conscience. Father God, I, I meditate on these things. I'm no longer ordinary. I'm a child of the Most High God. Thank you, my Father. Yes, I'm born again. I'm a new creation. Lembro Hashana Masakabaya. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. So every morning when you wake up, I told you when I was here in past times, what makes your prayer to be powerful is not the multitude of words. And you cannot prosper through prayer. If it was so, all Africans would be prosperous. We pray in capital letters. Casa Sisa. Baraton and Soprano. Eh? The white Americans can't match us. They just say, we thank you, Father, for this day. Amen. Huh? Africans, they vibrate. <laughs> Power is not in your vibrating and your shouting. It is in your knowing who God is to you who you are to him that's why Jesus said when you pray say our father who art in heaven he sits on the supreme throne that's what makes you powerful <laughs> lift up your right hand and pray and say my father please don't be deceived by the person next to you say I don't know about you he's my father say my father who art in heaven 
I belong to you. You belong to me. I am yours. You are mine because you are powerful. I'm powerful. Thank you, Daddy. I love you, my father. Abba, Father. Lipo Castellena Masukabaya. Zena Lama Sakabaya. Say, You are my father. I belong to you. I used to be a child of my father and my mother. But when salvation came, I got born again. The new birth changed my life order. I'm now a daughter. I'm now a son of the Most High God. My life can never go down. I'm unstoppable. I go forward by the force of my new birth. I am born of God. I always overcome. Oh, Shalina Masukabaya. Hey, Shabakadabaya. Power is in our new identity. Move around and say, I know who I am. I'm a child of the Most High God. Say, neighbor, be careful. You must deal wisely with me. I'm not ordinary. I'm a child of the Most High God. Move around like a prince. Like a princess. Landu Castilana Masukanda. Leprakam. No one must take you for granted. Limbro Hashana Masakabaya. Zenala Makayanda Basaka. Say tonight I'm programming a new outcome, a new appearance, a new life order. I know who I am. Say the party is over. Troubles, I will trouble you. I'm unstoppable now. Say because of who I am, prosperity is mine. The US dollars are coming into my account into my hands la kusta kima satamaya say I can't be broke no 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 I can't fail I'm a child of the most high God I'm not born again to fail again say that devil is a liar let's prophesy tonight say I'm not born again to fail again I'm a child of God I'm born again to champion I'm born again to live my best life say my life will be the best of the best i'm born again now i'm not born again to fail again i'm not born again to struggle again i'm not born again to suffer again that devil is a liar suffer like how my father is a champion jesus 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 you must even change your dress gear. Love good things. Your father is an extravagant man. Did I communicate? I like the way the man of God likes things. You see there's lights there. You see the screens. I was looking at my water table there, you know, it's, it's got that gold. Yeah. Your pastor doesn't wear tired clothes. Your mom, the prophetess, look at her. She's wearing that gorgeous green for fruitfulness. And then you come in here like that tired look. <laughs> Say, I carry the grace of the house. Listen, for them to look like this is the order and the command of heaven. Once upon a time, God was appointing priests. He spoke to Moses. He said, take Aaron and his sons. They are going to be the first historic representatives of me in the temple. He said, get skilled tailors. They must design for them garments of dignity and honor. So you must take time. You must have special occasions where you dress serious.
you you take your best clothes that day you are just reaffirming your new identity and and you don't walk like people are chasing you you are strolling majestically it's your special day you are carrying your handbag your shoe is dangerous huh what are you talking about because faith without works is dead these things must be demonstrated So when you see your, 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 your pastor and your mother and the Lord, Pastor Farai, dress to the nines, you say, that's the standard. Yeah. You don't tell us, you say, that's the standard. Yeah. Because if you hate prosperity, prosperity will hate you in return. You can't attract what you criticize. Did you show them the verse? Where's the guy? God said to Aaron, to Moses, you must design for them the garments of dignity. He says, I don't want to be represented by people who are looking wretched. Look at it. Make sacred garments for your brother Aaron to <laughs> just the, the dress code. The dress code must give him dignity. People address you the way you dress. <laughs> Never dress like you are broke. Are you Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> they just dress like they've got nothing. They are loaded. For you, you must be prophetic. Amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Did I help you? Respect who you are. Among all the children of your father and your mother, you must be the best dressed until your siblings jealous you. Yeah. Until they say, they think you are proud. They say, I'm not proud. It's because of who I am. Once upon a time, I was adopted. By the mighty Papa of heaven. I'm no longer, yes, I still respect you, but I no longer belong to this clan. I'm a chosen generation. Oh, hallelujah! Praise the name of the Lord. Number three, you are creative. When God created me and you, according to Genesis 1, 28, he said, let us make men in our image and according to what? Our likeness. It means to function like us. Because God is creative and the Bible says ye are God. You are creative. But your instrument of creating your good future is your big mouth. Am I helping you? Like I spoke yesterday for those who are here. From today become a prophet of your destiny. Prophesy like crazy. Recite the scriptures like crazy. Speak the language of God. Say what God says about you. Don't speak your circumstances. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. So create your tomorrow today. Job 22, 28 says, You shall decree a thing and it shall be established for you. Light will shine in your ways. Never complain about problems. Confront them with the word of God's power. Hallelujah. What did I say? Never complain about problems. Confront them with the word. Override them with the word. Are you understanding me? If you feel some sharp pain, don't talk about the sharp pain, but say, by the wounds of Jesus, I was healed. Pain, you need to go because my boat is a wrong address for you. Did you hear what I've just said? 
you are creative this is where Christians are underperforming we look down upon ourselves we fail to speak the word of God hallelujah the word of God making contact with your mouth believed with your heart equals miracles X2032, Paul says, I commend you, X2032, to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. A Christian, I wish you were writing, is supposed to be a word practitioner. You get legal practitioners, medical practitioners. We are word practitioners. Did you write that one down? Every day you don't wake up to analyze your problems. You wake up to speak what God speaks. You are creative. You wake up to program your, your life. You use your mouth. Hallelujah. Am I helping somebody? He says, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up, build your life to the next level by speaking the word of God's power. And it is able to give you, give you, give you, give you. John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was what? Was the word. Huh? The word was with God. So if you want God's presence to hang around you, hang around the word. The word was God. Look at verse 2. He was in the beginning with God. Look at what follows. Nothing. All things were made through him. It has a, person, a personality. We are still discussing the word. All of a sudden, there's a personal pronoun. Eh? All things were made through him. And without him, nothing. If your mouth is without the word, no miracle will be made for you. From this April going forward, let's go to another level. Stop talking your problems. Talk the word of God. Say, I will live long. I will not die before my time. That devil is a liar. I will not struggle like my family people. I will not struggle like my family members. In my family, I will rise and prosper more than anyone in that whole clan. In the name of Jesus, I carry the blessing of the Lord that makes one to be rich. Say, I'm a child of God now. I prosper in all things in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Nothing. Hey, when I saw that, I said, wow. So the word of God is the material that God uses to produce the miracle. That's why Jeremiah once wrote, I want the vision that says in Jeremiah chapter 112, God watches over his word. So if your mouth, your heart has got no word, God has got nothing to perform. Can you imagine? It is not the devil stopping you, it's your laziness. We wake up to work the word. You go to work, you go to your business while you are busy speaking the word. I watch over my word to accomplish it nothing that was made was made without the word joshua 1 8 this book of the law what is the book of the law the word must not depart from where from your big rooched mouth the mouth that is rooched <laughs> shall not what Depart. It means keep on speaking it. Meditate on it. That word meditate, it means to matter. 
the Hebrew word there is homologia. It means you recite it. You matter it. You are going, oh, oh, you are speaking, oh, 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 oh. No weapon formed against me will prosper. This is the day the Lord has made. I shall rejoice. Goodness and Mercedes follows me. And you go to showrooms to look for nice cars. You just pointed and said, that car is mine. That's my next car. Hallelujah. Because what you say is what you will have. It says meditate on it day and so that you may observe to do according to all that is this written. For then you will make your is it God will make your ways prosperous? It's you. And you shall have what? Good success. Say neighbor. neighbor. You are standing next to a new champion. Say from today. I'm a desider. I'm a maker of my success. I produce my success by my words in the name of Jesus. Say thank you my father. I bless your holy name. You know God once spoke something strange men of God through the prophet er 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 Jeremiah. When I saw it I was surprised. Who, did you see it? Did you ever saw what God said? In Jeremiah 5 I think it's verse 14. He said my word in your mouth. Look at it. He said because you speak this word, behold, I will wait my words in your mouth to be fire. Bend that poverty by speaking prosperity. <laughs> Bend that sickness by speaking divine health. He said, I will make my words in your mouth fire and the people would and it shall devour them. So I can actually devour a migraine headache. I can cause the word to devour it. I can devour <laughs> poverty by continuously speaking prosperity say i'm blessed going out i'm blessed coming in i'm blessed wherever i go say the blessing follows me professor hey <laughs> and i also saw another verse in hebrews 4 12. I don't know which rendition is this. It says the word of God is active. It is alive. So even if you feel like you are dying, when you speak it, you come alive. <laughs> it rejuvenates you. <laughs> the word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any double-edged sword. I just like the, the, the first part. It is living. Look at it in the, in the NIV. Thank you, Jesus. NIV. I say I. Look at it. It says the word of God is alive. Alima, move like this. Say I'm alive. <laughs> I'm a word practitioner. I'm alive. Oh, Shalina Masukabaya. Eh, Shapa Katabaya. Eh, Lamasaka. Move around. Say, I'm alive. I'm active. I'm a talker of the word. Lepro Hashina Masaka. I'm alive. I'm a talker of the word. <sighs> Hallelujah. Are you blessed so far? Now, in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 6, look at us. What did I say to you? Be a talker of the language of God. Look at verse 6. Look at verse 6. One, two, three, four, read. So that we may do what? Don't just say the word. Say it with boldness. 
say it with stubbornness say it with stubborn faith look at verse 5 no verse 6 it says so we must boldly say the Lord is who is my helper I will not fear what can men do to me it means when you read it by the wounds I was healed he is saying it so that you may say it over your life he is creative you are creative lift up your hands unto heaven oh I pray for you from today never be defeated again from today become a prophet of your destiny from today you are the practitioner of the word from today you are a slave of speaking the word of God's power from today you will prophesy over your life from today you will say the things you want to see for Jesus told us in Mark 11 23 said you shall always have what you say say father I will keep on saying it I will keep on speaking my destiny I will keep on keep on speaking the things I want to experience in the name of Jesus say thank you my father I give you praise I give you glory I want you to prophesy three things that you want should happen in this month of April the Bible says you shall decree a thing and it shall be established Lambro Hashana Masaka Lepro Hashena Masakabaya speak like you are alive I want you to speak like this and say father in the name of Jesus based on who I am based on my new identity now that I'm a child of God I decree and I declare that my life is rising to a higher level I decree and I declare that I will no longer struggle like I was struggling I will no longer be broke like I was broke doors of good things are opening for me my future is bright in this month of April I shall see the goodness of the Lord in this month of April the blessing of the Lord will manifest in everything I do La Costa Bayanda I will connect with the right people I will overcome every attack of the enemy in the name of Jesus I am blessed I am prosperous. I prosper in all things. I'm a child of the Most High God. Thank you, Jesus. After speaking the word of God, you need to program your life through your giving. I'm going to make a statement you must never forget according to kingdom principles according to the kingdom that you are in because remember we live in zimbabwe but we live in another country as well the bible says in ephesians in in in, in colossians 1 13 god has translated us delivered us out of the kingdom of darkness kingdom and brought us into the kingdom of his dear son so we live in another country we are in the world, but we are not of the world. There are rules of engagement. Did you hear what I've said? There are what rules of engagement. It is not God who decides how much should come to me. It is me and you through our giving. Are you learning that? When it comes to acquisition and accessing material things of this life, including money, prayer is not the engagement you don't pray for money and material things favor you give for it you pray for the anointing you pray for wisdom but when it comes to money opportunities good connections promotion new car new house the law is giving Are you learning that? And it is not giving that is powerful, but what produces the result is giving under two rules. One, give by faith. What is to give by faith? It is knowing that this giving will produce results. Number two rule, 
it is giving consistently power is not in the giving it is in the consistent giving by faith hallelujah 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 constant giving guarantees constant flow of money you did did you catch that let's say it after me say constant giving guarantees constant flow of money you remember the signs of that widow who had oil small cruise of oil you remember and she had debts Elisha said take the small oil borrow a lot of bottles which you are later going to sell something happened the man of God the Bible says she started pouring as long as she was pouring the oil was not running out when I saw that I said wow God works in mysterious way. It's a rule, it's a system, it's a principle. Behind every biblical story, the Jews get to see the principle. Don't just read and pass. So she kept on pouring. The oil never... The Bible says the moment she said she was tired and stopped pouring, the oil dried up. That's what it happens in finances. The moment you get upset, I've been giving too much, the flow stops. <laughs> now we are going to release our offering friday we are coming with our offering those in business those who want higher positions we are programming it in this month april is powerful it is the fourth month hallelujah it represents the divinity of Jehovah, the mighty, mightiness of God. Four living creatures are sitting in front of the throne room of heaven. Four corners of the earth. Four winds. Four corners of a house. It's a number of establishment. It's a number that galvanizes you to higher things. Are you understanding me? So last night I said I gave out some envelopes. Let me see those envelopes. I said you must write three things. They're already here. Oh, really? Praise the name of the Lord. So lift up your hands unto heaven. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I now program my next level. Thank you for opening my understanding. I believe in you. I believe in your servant my men of God and our mother in the Lord the woman of God and I believe in your word I decree and I declare that from this day going forward my life is being translated into a higher level I'm rising in all dimensions of my life spiritually financially socially economically in the name of Jesus, say, Father God, with what I've learned, I'm a commander. I will not allow things to go haywire. I will not allow things to go wrong while I'm busy complaining. From this time, I will be a stubborn talker of the word of God, a programmer of my destiny with the help of the Holy Spirit using the material of the Word of God. Say the Word of God will be spoken by my mouth. I will declare the Word day after day. I will no longer complain but I will confront every challenge using the Word of God's power. It is alive. It is active. It is powerful. It is able to give me whatever I want. Thank you, my Father. I pride myself in who I am. I'm a child of the Most High God. Father God, I will move around with new confidence. I will exercise stubborn faith. I'm not born again to fail again. I will fight failure. I will fight suffering. I will fight poverty. I will fight sickness. I will fight back every attack of the enemy. I sit under a strong anointing of the men of God. Therefore I declare that 
just as he is a powerful talker declarer of the word of God I am exactly like him I'm a talker of the word of God my life will never be the same thank you my father I give you praise I give you glory forever and ever oh hallelujah are you blessed have you learned something hallelujah Take out your offering, come and drop it on the altar to appreciate the things you learned today. Whatever offering it is, come and drop it on the altar. Thank you, Jesus. Lembro Hashana Masaka. March as I declare. As you march forward, a promotion is happening in your life. As you march forward, you are changing levels. As you march forward, new doors of opportunities will open for you. March forward. In the name of Jesus, thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Lord. The men of God will give you envelopes that you will bring again on Friday. Friday morning, I believe, he will be marshalling you to, to, to higher and higher levels based on the things we learn. Come and drop it. Lambro Hashana Masaka. Say, Father, as I release this offering, I'm maintaining the constant flow. Constant flow of U.S. dollars. Constant flow of money into my hands. In the name of Jesus. Lambro Hashina Masaka. Ye Labasaka Babaya. He will give you envelopes, please. And you are going to bring that offering. It's an offering that will program completely the things that you want to see happening in this month of April. Lift up your hands. Father God, I commit your people. To the word of tonight, we are creative beings. Yes. We are sons of the Most High God. The Bible says we are not for suffering and struggle, but we are for signs. We are for wonders. Say, I am for signs. I am for signs. I am for wonders. I am for, wonders. I am for, success. I am for success. I am for prosperity. prosperity. Say, thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. I'm born again. I'm born again. To champion in life. Champion in in life. Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come and pick the envelopes from the men of God. Listen, before you go, what the men of God said, we must not ignore it. Amen. We are all going to program a new season amen come and get an envelope and don't miss friday morning say programming come and get it amen we're going to program a new season according to your financial level you package a seed to program amen now listen marie programming Somebody say programming. So I want all of us to be involved in this particular seed. We do it by faith. We do it with a willing heart. Those who are online, my details are there online. Send me a message, men of God. I want to send a seed to program. Hallelujah, a new season. And you do it according to your level and according to your faith. Can I get an amen? Like I always say, no one in this ministry is ever forced to give. Any seed enforced from you will not prosper you. But if you believe you have things that you need to program, you want to change your story, you connect with a seed. Hallelujah. Also on Friday morning, the men of God will pray for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we all name Mary name sorrow. I couldn't do program. I mean, not a program. She has hey, this is powerful. Hallelujah. Have we been blessed? How many are being blessed by this Jesus series? New creation realities. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for sending his servant our way. Hallelujah. One more time, let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate him. Sir, we love and appreciate you. We thank you for being a blessing to us. Uh, the words you spoke over the ministry, we value them. We believe them and we receive them. Somebody say programming. 
I believe in this man of God. My connection with him changed my life in a lot of ways. And you know me, I just tell you the truth. Amen. Business people, I believe that God is ushering the business people into a new realm. So this is very, very important for your business, for your careers. Amen. Some of you, for your families, you need to program some things. Somebody say, I will program. According to your level and according to your faith. Hallelujah. Let's pray for safety. Let's pray for safety. Say, Father, we command a hedge of fire. God bless you, men of God. Amen. See you tomorrow. Let's appreciate him. Amen. So, tomorrow is a holiday. So, make sure you get some rest. Say to your neighbor, all right, let's pray for protection. This is important. Say, Father, I activate the power in the blood of Jesus over my life. I command a hedge of fire around about me, divine protection in the name of Jesus. The grace of God must come upon my life. May I be protected. May I be shielded. I declare and I decree angels of God round about my life and I declare and I decree a wall of fire round about me as I go home. May I go home with grace and divine protection safe and sound in the palm of his hand. I speak this. I decree it. Let the, de let the defended of the Lord say so. I will be defended by heaven in Jesus name. Can somebody say amen? Clap your hands for Jesus. What a revival. Hallelujah. You are being trained to be a powerful word practicing machine. Nothing produces results more than the word. Can we, can we admit that we had been lagging behind on this particular area? I believe that the men of God came to shift us and to make sure that we are diligent in these things. Let's continue the things that we are being taught. Amen. So even all those who are going to work Friday morning, please pass through prayer. Pass through prayer. The man of God will come. I'm going to make sure on Friday morning that he lays hands on you. The reason why I want you to bring your seat is I want you to connect. And I will ask him, amen, to pray for you specifically everyone who will bring that seat. Please, it's important. Don't ignore this instruction. Amen. We love and appreciate you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us online. Amen. We'll see you on Friday morning. Be blessed. Thank you for coming.